Hello and Shema everyone. Today we're going to be talking about cars. Poland versus USA. This is a series that I made up where I talk about differences between the two countries of things you guys are interested and in have commented down below. So today I'm going to be doing cars and at the end of the video you guys can check out some of my other videos that I made in this series of the differences between the two countries. Some of the things that I talked about were houses, fashion, stereotypes, and holidays as well. But today we're going to be talking about a topic that's very special to my heart, and that is cars. So outside of YouTube, I used to go to car meets and also I have my motorcycle license. I love cars. I love um, just looking at people's builds of like some of the things that they've done. So cars and bikes is something that's always interested me and it's kind of like a little hobby, you know, passion that I like to do. So today we're going to talk about some of the things that I noticed between the two countries with all things cars. So some of these differences that I noticed are really just between Europe and USA, but because my audience is like all Polish and stuff like that, that's why it is Poland versus USA. But there also is Poland versus USA today. But some of the differences are really just Europe between America. So I just wanted to note that before someone gets mad and writes that in the comments and says that. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, to start off off topic, I just wanted to note that um, trucks like 18 wheelers, USA versus Europe. In America, 18 wheelers have a rounded nose in the front and in Europe and in Poland, they have a flat nose, I guess you could say. So I just wanted to note that real quick. Um, we're gonna move on though. All right, so some of the things that I noticed that actually surprised me and were just kind of a big difference between USA and Poland was that I noticed that there's a lot more BMW and Mercedes or BMW, BMW, I think it's that's how you say it, um, in Poland compared to America. But yeah, there's a lot more Mercedes and BMW and there's also a lot more older ones and older models that we don't even have here. So some of the brands that we don't have, this is just looking at the Automoto app, uh, the Polish car finder app to like buy cars and stuff. Um, we don't have Citroen, uh, we don't have Cupra, and the, I'm going to list also, these are just like the popular ones that I remember seeing in Poland that we just don't have here in the States. So these are like cars that I would usually see just driving around in Poland. So yeah, we don't have those. We don't have... Peugeot, the French brand. We don't have Renault. I think that's the French brand as well. We don't have Seat. We don't have Skoda. There's even some brands on here that I can't even pronounce um, that we don't have. But um, off the top of my head, those, I think I just listed four. Uh, those four are the ones that I know that were pretty common in Poland and that we don't have here in the States. I feel like I'm all over the place with like topics and stuff, but I think that's how I'm gonna be for the remainder of this video. I'm just gonna be listing like just random things that I noticed between the two countries. Okay, so most cars from what I noticed in Poland are either sedans or wagons. There is SUVs and stuff and that's still common, I would say, but overall I would say there's more sedans and wagons compared to USA. In America, we have a lot more SUVs and trucks. There's even brands now like Ford that are not even making any sedans or hatchbacks anymore because the market just wants trucks and SUVs. So that's kind of how it is here. Another thing to note is that it seems like stick shift is actually dying here. Okay, so I see here, I just Googled percentage of stick shift in Europe and it says here that in Europe that there's more than 80% of the cars that are sold that have manual transmissions versus 71% of the cars in the US that have an automatic transmission. So yeah, my car is actually stick. I like driving stick because it's just a lot more fun. Uh, it's something else to do when you're driving. It sucks that it's dying here. There's just less and less every single year. And now, you know, they have technology and improvements where it's just so much safer and better for your car to have an automatic. It's just going to last longer. It's just overall better for your car, better for mileage. There's no error that the driver could possibly have. 
So I think over time it's kind of slightly dying. So yeah, I also wanted to note that kind of where I'm from, there's just so many trucks here. Like everyone has a truck. Popular brands would be Ford and Dodge. Chevrolet as well has some pretty popular ones. But yeah, mainly SUVs and trucks here versus sedans and wagons in Poland. So I also wanted to note about fuel. It was kind of strange to me that we were driving in my girlfriend's father's car and I heard him start the car one day and I was like, whoa, is this a diesel? I was confused by this because it seems like only in the states that if it's a truck it'll have diesel versus everything else just takes like regular fuel gas petrol as you guys would probably call it because uh, you guys probably only know like british english so petrol and this actually surprised me so i think that there's a lot more sedans and wagons in poland and europe that are diesel compared to in the states where it's really only just regular petrol so speaking of fuel i didn't really see that many teslas in electric cars in poland but i know that they're getting more and more popular but over here in the states it seems like electric cars are becoming more and more popular so yeah i know that in Poland that Teslas are definitely a thing and they're becoming more and more popular to have electric cars and this is kind of like a growing trend I think for both countries that slowly and slowly we're both going towards electric cars so I'd imagine in like a couple hundred years that there's just only going to be electric cars and moving on to another topic there is driving age which in the US it kind of ranges it's like 15 to 16 I was driving around 15 actually I started driving when I was like 14 just like with my dad in the car just like practicing but then once i was 15 i was driving and then in poland it seems like number one that it's harder to get a license because it's a lot more expensive in every year it seems like that price actually goes up but you have to be 18 to drive in poland so that's a big difference right there and i also wanted to note that for driving tests in the states that we used to do parallel parking and that was like you have to parallel park in order to get your license and that's what i had to do in order to get mine but i know that they just recently took out parallel parking in the states which i guess no one's really doing that anymore here i'm sure to like polish people this is like oh my god what a disgrace and stuff like i totally get that because you know in poland in europe you have to learn how to parallel park weird difference uh don't roast us too much and also it seems like uh the first car here that drivers get is like a honda civic it's just a very popular car it's very easy on gas it's very cheap to repair here it seems like for a first car in poland it seems like it's a volkswagen golf that just i don't know that's kind of what i noticed this could this could be wrong okay for both countries but that's that's kind of how it is i think Okay, now there's something that I want to go to in Poland. It's uh, it's a car meet in Wrocław. I think it's like a, a car meet that's hosted like every single year, but I know that it's a pretty popular thing to go to. I want to go to it so badly because there's just like so many cool cars there. And I want to see people's builds in Poland because I'm not really used to people uh, building and modifying like older Mercedes and BMWs. Very cool whip, full click, full swag, too quick, all on our rubies. Uh, new sense, you ain't finna do shit. In the bloody face up on the 10 o'clock, new skit. No threat, no sweat. Come here, get your toe check, toe check, yo, next. But I think it's super awesome to have like a, a VIP uh, stance car and it's something that I want to have one day. And also, I'm really curious guys, do you guys have the Mercedes 190E? Because if you do, that's a car that I've been planning on buying and modifying um, actually for a while now. It's kind of like a dream car for me to have one day. It's just, I don't know, I love the look. I love that it's like an old Mercedes. It's, it's just a timeless car to me and I think it'd be so cool to modify it one day. But yeah, I have plans for the future to go to car meets and rally meets and stuff like that in Poland. It'd be so cool to see how like car enthusiasts are different in Poland versus USA. And I also wanted to note that there isn't really too many American muscle cars in Poland. There's like newer Mustangs, but I don't think they were introduced until like the 2016 models versus in the States There's a lot of you know American muscle cars as you guys know, you know, like Camaros Mustangs Nova's Firebirds cars like that. So so yeah guys I kind of wanted to touch on these topics briefly But if you guys wanted me to dive into like, you know more topics about this then let me know in the comments down below because I love cars and I want to film cars in Poland as well and I just want to go to car meets and rally stuff and I think it would be so fun. So yeah, let me know below if you guys have any further questions or and comment any other ideas for differences between the two countries that 
I notice or you want to learn about um, that I may have insight on. Maybe you want me to continue making a video on this topic and dive into like another section of cars and not just like the broad area of cars. So let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Jinkuya i Davidsenia. Thank you.